The following BLTV program is brought to you by O'Flaherty Law. Please enjoy. Welcome to Learn About Law. My name is Kevin O'Flaherty from O'Flaherty Law, and today we're going to explain some alternatives to probate in Illinois. First, let's talk about what probate is. Probate is a court case that takes about a year. Uh, when some people die, it's required in order for the court to oversee the administration of the estate. So that's the estate administrator collecting assets uh, that were owned by the deceased person, then distributing those assets to creditors, and then if there's anything left over, to heirs and beneficiaries. And this all requires notices to be filed, paperwork to be filed with the court, and uh, multiple court appearances. Probate isn't always required. In some instances, it's not. There's a couple scenarios we'll talk about now that may allow you to avoid probate. One is uh, a small estate affidavit. So a small estate affidavit is a way to administer an estate outside of the probate court without having to open up a probate case. Small estate affidavit administration is available if all of the following are true. One is that if the deceased person did not own any real estate outside of a trust or outside of joint right of survivorship, so like the way most married people own their homes, and if they didn't own if they own less than $100,000 outside of a trust or outside of payable on death accounts. So this is why people have revocable living trusts is to make it so that probate won't be necessary and their estate can be administered through a small estate affidavit. So we've talked about asset structure. They have to have a very small amount of assets outside of a trust or outside of payable on death accounts or with a named beneficiary that's going to automatically receive it. So that's the first requirement. Second requirement is all of the creditors of the estate have to be paid out of the estate. So the estate has to have enough assets to cover all of its debts. Third is that no creditor claims can be contested by the estate administrator. So if a creditor makes a claim against the estate, they have to be paid. The administrator can't contest the validity of the claim. Fourth, there can't be any disputes between heirs and beneficiaries. So if all these are true, then you don't have to open up a probate case. You can administer the estate through a small estate affidavit. And this is usually the best way to administer an estate if probate isn't necessary. A small estate affidavit requires the administrator to swear in writing that all of these conditions we just talked about are true and then set forth what the assets of the estate are and how they are going to be distributed. Once the affidavit is executed before a notary, the administrator is now legally empowered to collect assets from the deceased person's financial institutions for the purpose of distributing them according to the way the affidavit says they will be distributed. They can do this by bringing a copy of a, the small estate affidavit, a certified copy of the death certificate, and a certified copy of any existing will. The advantages of administering an estate through a small estate affidavit as opposed to probate are that no court appearances are necessary, there are much lower attorney fees when you do it through a small estate affidavit, and the assets will be distributed immediately rather than going through a year-long probate case. There are disadvantages, though. Unlike probate, creditors' claims are not cut off if not made within six months of provision of notice. So in a probate case, if creditors don't make a claim within six months of receiving notice, then their claims are cut off and they can't make claims. Uh, that's not the case with the small estate affidavit. Secondly, disputes between beneficiaries are not necessarily resolved in the initial handling of the, the case, and they can linger after the estate has been distributed. Third, the administrator can incur personal liability for d distributing the assets improperly. So that's small estate affidavits, and usually if probate is not required based on the asset structure and if all of the conditions are met for a small estate affidavit, this is the most cost-effective and best way to administer your estate. Talk briefly about summary administration. This is a rarely used technique. It's administering the estate through a court without appointing an administrator. We won't spend a lot of time on this because it has all the disadvantages of a small estate affidavit plus the hassles of a full-blown probate case, and you don't get any of the real benefits of the probate case, like cutting off claims or protection of liability for the, uh, for the executor or administrator. So third is the bond in lieu of probate, and this is appropriate in a small number of circumstances. It's not as good of a technique as a small estate affidavit in most cases, but sometimes it is. Bond in lieu of probate is, help, is helpful if the assets of the estate slightly exceed the requirements for a small estate affidavit. So small estate affidavit isn't available because there's too many assets outside of trust or outside of payable on death accounts. So rather than filing a probate case, the administrator can purchase a bond, which is basically insurance uh, against the administrator mismanaging the estate, 
and financial institutions may accept this bond rather than the order from the court that the probate court that gives the executive the power to administer an estate. So usually you need something called letters of office from the probate court in order to deal with the deceased person's assets. Financial institutions may accept a bond instead of going through the probate case to get those letters of office. The problem is each financial institution will require a separate bond. So that's a lot of hassle. So if there's a lot of different assets and types of assets, then it may be easier to go through a probate case than to get a bunch of different bonds. A downside is that it carries all of the liability risk of a small estate affidavit. So you only really want to do a bond in lieu of probate is in the situation where a small estate affidavit isn't possible based on the asset structure. There's a small number of different assets and there are no disputes between creditors and beneficiaries, so liability is not really much of a concern. So if you have any questions, you can leave them in the comments section below this post at learn-about-law.com or below the video on our YouTube channel. If you found this helpful, please subscribe to us on Apple Podcasts, YouTube, and SoundCloud. And you can also subscribe to our email list at learn-about-law.com and you'll be informed of our daily article and video posts and what type of content we're putting out. If you need some help, give us a call at 630-324-6666. That's 630-324-6666. We have offices all around Chicagoland for your convenience, uh, and we offer free consultations in many areas of law. Thank you so much for watching and listening. Thanks so much for watching our video. If you have any questions, feel free to comment below. Click the subscribe button for new videos every week, and download and review us on iTunes. Visit learn-about-law.com for other legal-related articles and videos. Visit our business podcast and video blog, seizeyourbusiness.com. And visit Making Real Estate Fun for real estate videos and podcasts. Call us at 630-324-6666 for a free consultation.